The purpose of uh, meeting today is to review the progress of uh, the National Action Plan uh, which was formulated and prepared by the entire political leadership of this country. As you know that uh, meeting of the all parties conference was convened in the Prime Minister's house where uh, General Raheel Sharif and his colleagues were also present and we discussed this agenda threadbare and it took us 10 hours to finalize the agenda and as a result of that agenda the first thing that was done was to pass the constitutional amendment which was done in a very uh, short period and then of course the army law was also amended and the agenda uh, has 20 uh, points out of these uh, 20 points two were immediately implemented and the rest of the agenda items were left to the apex committee and also to the federal government so this agenda has not been uh, formulated or prepared by just one single party or the government alone it has the endorsement of the entire political uh, parties of the country opposition or uh, allied parties of the government and this is a document of course which uh, deals with also the future of this country for the security of this country to secure the future of upcoming generations in Pakistan. I believe that uh, the people of Pakistan certainly are looking forward to seeing some tangible results of uh, the National Action Plan and uh, the National Action Plan of course uh, has to now deliver and uh, failure is not an option. All the provinces now have apex committees headed by the respective uh, chief ministers of the provinces and these uh, committees are meeting from time to time and uh, also taking uh, decisions which of course are being implemented uh, in certain places they are being implemented speedily and effectively but in some provinces of course a lot of work has still to be done i'm sure that the chief secretary during his briefing will uh, highlight the achievements uh, and accomplishments uh, on this particular aspect of the agenda but I would also like him to tell us about the problems and the problem areas and the problems and the impediments uh, faced by the law enforcement agencies they should be very uh, candidly and clearly expressed here so that we can uh, listen to them very carefully and find their solutions so uh, as I just mentioned we have no other option but to win this war against terrorism and the scourge of terrorism will have to be now eliminated from all times to come, whether it is in the tribal areas of Pakistan, whether it is in certain other pockets of Pakistan, wherever they are, the decision of the government and the decision, I would say, of the state is to simply eliminate them. Along with this, we would also like to uh, hear uh, the uh, interrogation or the investigation that has been going on, the Baldia town issue. It's a very, very serious issue, very grave issue, in fact. We are answerable to God first and then, of course, to the people of Pakistan. So, therefore, uh, whatever uh, uh, has so far happened on this very tragic incident, would like to hear from the Chief Secretary and also all other concerned.